Hey yo, what's good, ambitious gang? How's everybody doing? Y'all, so yesterday I meant to uh I meant to like do something, but I didn't. I didn't pull out the camera. And I told I told a lot of people, told you guys that I was gonna vlog to, uh yesterday, but I actually didn't, man. The weather was nasty, it was just crazy. But we did go shopping a little bit yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got right now, helping Bub. You know. Bub's doing a little bit of homework. Right now, uh, we just finished math. He got two, he uh, passed both of his exams and now we're working on social studies. So, yeah, doing that right now as I'm make you know, daddy on the air fryer. Getting the air fryer set, uh, set for us some lunch. We got some chicken nuggets and french fries. But as soon as, uh, as soon as me and him are done with that, then I'm going to be helping. Hold on, man. Camera look a little. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay. Had a little smudge on the camera, but um Sammy's I think she went walking. I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, I really do think that. she did. Uh I'm not sure if she went walking or she went up to Target or something like that. She uh while we was doing this, I think she she had already left. But uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably give her a call in a little bit. Uh, nine times out of 10, I'm pretty sure. As a matter of fact, I can check, check the location. Where's my, you know what, there you go. Check her location real quick. Cause I want to say she went walking. Uh, yeah, went walking. She's still in the neighborhood, so. And it looked like she's actually on her way back. So yeah. Um, I'm out to, uh, once I finish up with him, then I'm gonna do an unboxing for y'all. Show y'all everything that we bought yesterday. Cause we actually got home like crazy late. I think it was like 11.30. And uh, we just pretty much just brought things in and just sat them right there. Cause I wanted to show you guys regardless. So uh, once I get done with this, like I said, I'll show y'all. All right guys, so I told y'all I was gonna show y'all everything that we bought. So, uh, Let's get to it. I have no idea where to start. We got a lot of stuff yesterday. Um, but we went to Target. I guess I'll start out with that. Went to Target yesterday. Finally found Bub's favorite chips. The uh, white cheddar for puff popcorn, I think. Uh, white, what it is? The cheddar puff white cheddar. Got two of those. Um, got some more of Sammy's favorite drinks, the Alani News uh, Energy Hawaiian Shaped Ice. I think those are her only ones that she actually likes from them. I'm not 100% though. Um, what else we got? I picked these up because if you know, you know. The strawberry, the uh, Starburst candy canes, I think are the best ones. Way better than the uh, originals. Um, I know this may look like a lot of candy that we got, but at the same time, we don't eat candy like that. We still have fucking Halloween candy, actually, that's been in the freezer. But we got uh, some of these right here. We got the peanut butter M&Ms. And so what are these? What are these? Which ones are these? These are the Master Swiss chocolate. The These are the assorted ones. So you have milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate in this bag. And then those are all Sammy's, I'm pretty sure, because I don't. The only ones that I would eat out of there would probably be the um, the white chocolate. And then she has the dark chocolate bag, which is dark chocolate, 60% extra dark chocolate, and 70% extra dark chocolate. Um. Like stuff like that that we have will last us almost four or five months until we throw it away. Um, I picked up two of these. Uh, so if you're into anime, you will know exactly what, who these are. These characters are. So you have two Demon Slayer demons. Uh, so these are, um, what the, I don't forgot the fucking name just that quick as I'm sitting here doing it. Um, but this is the uh, pretty much the head of all the demon slayer, the demons on the uh, on the show, and then 
This is like his number one recruit. Um, dang, what are the names of it? I can't think of it right now. But I picked these two up to add to my other ones because I have uh, I have Nezuko, I have Tanjiro, and I have uh, Zunetsu. So to add those to my collection of them. Uh, what else did we get? Sammy picked up this. I have no idea what these are. Um, mixing bowls. So, I feel like we have a set. It's four pieces. Good for the dishwasher. Um, none of them are so sure. But, there's a picture of them right there. So, pick those up because we do need those. Uh, what's this? We have a uh, Wonder Shop Make Your Own Hot Chocolate Bomb Kit. I thought that was pretty cool. Sam picked that up. Also, so we have a uh, so we have a vacuum. What kind? Of, what uh, brand vacuum is that? Shark. We have a Shark. But the only thing that I don't like about that Shark is that it is it has a cord on it. So the one, I picked up one yesterday because I found it on the crazy deal, um, which is this one, which is the, uh, the Shark Vac, uh, Vac Mop. This one right here. Um, and I picked up some pads for it. So this one right here, because I like being able to vacuum without a cord. So it's power, it has powerful suction, then it's a spray mop with us having hardwood floors throughout the whole house. Or, is hardwood or tile? This is tile, right? So, with us having tile flooring throughout the whole house, this will come in handy. Has an LED headlight too, and it's cordless. No, no cord at all. So, I can mop and vacuum at the same time. So, yeah, we got that. Target and I picked up some extra pads for it. Uh, what else did we get from Target? Uh, we have another strainer. We already had one of these though. Oh, okay. So we got that one. Got some more dish rags. For all my men out there that are that have sensitive armpits like I do, um, I have to use women's deodorant. De de deodorant. Deodorant. So, I got these. I like these right here. They don't have any scent to them. Very scent for my uh for sensitive armpits, and it is one fourth of moisturizing. So, I got that for me. Um, I don't like to spray on because it's cold and it freaks me out when I put it up on my arm. Um, what else did we get right here? Okay, so that's a different store. And body works. We got some bath and body works stuff. I told y'all that's like our store for all of our candles and stuff like that. Um, I don't care for Yankee, so just so y'all know, um, I think they're kind of overpriced for the quality of their candles. That's just you know my opinion. Sorry, uh, Yankee Candles for any future sponsorships, y'all, but I don't care to it. Um, Bright Christmas morning, uh, white barn. We got this one. What is this one for? The kitchen or the just random? Just random. Got that one as a uh, hand wash. Next did we get? We got a bunch of little ones because uh, they have changed already. So now they have what? Summer smells out or spring? Summer smells out in all of our. Bath and Body Works around us. So the only way I think we would be able to get it is if we order. Um, so we found a couple of them though that was still in there. We got Frosted Cranberry. Uh, Twas the night before Christmas. Um, another Frosted Cranberry. We got two Frosted Cranberries. A cinnamon caramel swirl. The 
this is mine. We got a sugar lemon zest. Y'all know I like lemon. So. Can't go wrong with that. And we got one big one. I don't know what this one was, I forgot. Oh, uh, sweater weather. And I'm quite sure that is everything from them. Yep, that is it. That's all we literally, for Christmas smells, that was the only thing that we could find. The rest of them kind of smell weird. There was actually some Thanksgiving ones in there. There was a, uh, a, a, there was literally a bacon one and there was a turkey one. I, I have no idea, people. Um, so, next we are going to go to Lululemon. Um, didn't expect to get into Lululemon and go and actually buy stuff, but my wife got me into it. So I bought a couple pair of pants. Um, they are, so if you know Lululemon and you've shopped at Lululemon, you know their sizing is probably the best out of every store I've ever shopped at because they have your size and then they, they have your size. So they would have your waist size and then they will have multiple length size. So it's never a point of like, oh, I can't fit those because they're too short or they're too long. Unless they just don't have them in the store, period. Like they out of stock of them. But, uh, so I had, I got the, the ABC joggers in a large, which I think these are gonna be great for the golf course because they're very stretchy. They fit perfect. The length is perfect on them. So I got those. Um, those are semis. These are mine. So I got the ABC joggers and then I got the uh, commission pants slim. 34 long. Those, all of them, all of my pants are actually at 34. So that's the commissions, the commission slims. Uh, what else did I get? I got the, the both, pair, both of those pair are in black. Um, I also got the, I got another pair of ABC joggers, but I got them in like an olive color. So I think these will go with one of the, uh, the Bad Birdie shirts that I got. And then I got these like uh, off-white. What, which, what are the name of these? These are the fast and free cold weather run pants. And I got these in a large. So, really cool to have these. I like them. I like all of them really. Uh, and then Sammy got she got some Lululemon Align Short, six inches. And then she got the, uh, what is this? She got the Flow Y Sports Bra. And she got this one. So she has been looking for this one for a long time. Uh, every time she goes, somebody obviously they're out of stock or something like that. And this is the Lululemon Align Tank, uh, which is, uh, I love this color on her because it's just, it's just kind of, you know, you know, it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Accommodates your skin. Makes her skin looks really good. Um, also, I got some underwear from them. The uh, Built to Move boxers. Got some yellow and purple ones. I don't have these colors. I normally have all like, I got black, I got gray, I have red, but I don't have any colors like this. So I'm gonna test them out. If I like them, I'm gonna continue to buy them. But yeah, Lululemon, check them out, I'm telling you. Fellas, if you're in the golf, Lululemon has some of the affordable pricing instead of, well, uh, I'll take that back. It's, it's about the same. I'll say that, it's about the same is paying for any other sort of uh, Nike brand. And listen, you just, you know, you wear just your regular stuff out there. Um, Sammy also went to, what is this place? Athletica? Athleta. Athleta. 
she got a hoodie from there. Um, their sizes run kind of weird. I don't know, but this is the hoodie she got from them. Uh, I like this. I think I have a color like similar to this, but it's, an Hol it's a Hollister one. But she got this one. I think she's just trying them out first, and if she likes it, I think she's gonna potentially be buying more stuff from me. Right, now it's time to get to the conversation that a lot of you guys have been asking about. Um, but first, show y'all some of the stuff that we picked up from Dick Sporting Goods. Um, Sammy picked up this burgundy long sleeve Nike tee. Uh, she also picked up another black hoodie because ours is kind of eh, is getting there. So we got another black tee or uh, well, black hoodie, my bad. And then we picked up both this right here, this Sherpa hoodie. Thought it'd be pretty cool because it is getting kind of cold down here. Uh, got a crazy little winter storm coming in. Um, Okay, now for the stuff that I had picked up for golf. Uh, last time I talked to y'all, y'all y'all kind of helped me vote on my golf outfit that I wanted to wear. And um, let's talk about it, you know. Uh, I picked up a couple more things today to kind of help me out. So uh, I have my lessons are on Tuesday. Um, and my first, my first lesson, guys, first set of lessons. Uh, typically did not know how to hold a putter or any, you know, club at all. So, uh, he, he helped me out with that, got my adjustment because first thing first, we came out there and, um, very nice guy. His name is Mike. Um, so I can film on the next one as well. I'll say that. So I will be filming on the next one. Um, but I did not film on this one. Um, but we, uh. He let me come out in my first swing, guys. I kid you not. First swing, I'm holding it and I hit it. And I think I'm, I thought I hit it hard, but the way I had the club was holding, it shot straight off into the woods. Just, just shot straight off into the woods. Um, but he, like I said, man, we went through it for about an hour. He helped me adjust my hands, get the right fitting, the right, well, not the fitting, but the right hand adjustments on the club. Um, and then he let me hit once again before I, we left and I hit it straight, hit it good, perfect, man. He was, he was very proud of me. Uh, so need, needless to say, I think I'm gonna be a fast learner on this. Um, but I did pick up some stuff. Uh, one of the first things I picked up were some, um, some Callaway Super Soft Orange Matte Finish Balls. Y'all know I love orange, but I didn't get these because of the color orange. I just literally grabbed the set that was on the stand. Uh, they had like a little sale going on. Um, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be good or what, you know. I don't know much about the certain balls that you need to have. So I got these uh, to show y'all needless nonetheless, you know. Got those. Um, uh, what else did I get? I got this. Okay, so for people that know golf, um, I'm not sure if this is a good club or what, but it wasn't something that I know I was going to continue to keep using. I just really, I got it for the house because I got something that goes along with this, but it is a top flight gamer, um, which is a, it's a, uh, it's a putter. So I got it for literally the house. I'm not going to be, you know, using it for anything else, but it's just for the time being until I go get fitted for my own set. Um, there is a set that I have been looking at. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I saved it on my phone. But yeah, I just picked this up for the time being, you know, just something for me to be able to uh, use around the house because of, hold on, let me put this back, okay. But I pick, I picked this thing up, figured it'd be best to help me with some stuff around the house, which is a perfect practice standing edition perfect putter mat it's nine foot and six inches long um uh it's my fridge uh but it's a putting adjustment mirror and traveling case included so um 
the content on it, it said it's a one, uh, it is one 9.5 foot crystal uh, velvet putting mat attached to a wooden base. Uh, six pieces, magnetic wood, ball return track, and one drop in, wooden protective uh, backstop. So I got this just for me to be like, you know, help me with uh, putting and stuff like that. Um, and it looks like it says this is the official putting mat of two-time major champion Dustin Johnson. Um, so pick this up from Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, it actually was on sale. So the original price for this one is like $169. I got it for one one nineteen. And then they had a Florida Gator one, which I will never purchase, which was like 185 bucks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Uh, I do have lessons, like I said, this this coming up Tuesday after Christmas, so uh, I'll be out on the what out on the green or you know out putting and uh, on the uh, driving range. That's what it is. Out on the driving range. Um, Getting more practice in, man, and the better I get, the more content I'm gonna be putting out with, uh, you know, with golf as well. Um, but yeah, that's what we all, that's what we got. We got some more stuff. I got, um, we got more stuff that's, you know, put away that I want to show y'all, but I can't show y'all because my son actually watches my vlogs, and we got some of his Christmas stuff, you know, some of his Christmas stuff, and I don't want to, you know, spoil it for him. So, um, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little unboxing. Uh, for anybody that wants to, you know, help me out with golf tips and stuff, shoot me a DM on IG. My IG is my Instagram is linked down below. Uh, if you are in the surrounding areas, once I get everything done, uh, I will be hitting some courses, you know. And we.